Hi, my name is Mette Hensgaard. I'm a Danish artist and in 2022 I went for an art and climate expedition to Greenland. First we went with helicopter. From a beach nearby, the ice sheet, we went across the seal. The chopper went over the ice and we could see it from the top and down. In a moment we would be on the ice and we were going to hike down and do an event where I should do a painting on the way. My interest of ice and climate has led me to Professor Jason Box. He is an ice and climate scientist and you can follow him on YouTube. I also have an interest in trees because I think they have so much value to give for life and they combine the beauty and also the balance of nature with the CO2 balance. So trees are very important. Right now the climate is changing and there's a lot of forest fires around the world. But hey Mitte, wasn't you supposed to talk about the ice sheet? You see, all the things are connected. We have the fires, we have lakes drying out, we have less rain. And then we have the rain falling in the wrong places and in the wrong seasons. And when we get rain, there is too much of it and people drown. So you might think it's too late to help the climber, and it might be too late. But there's always things we can do, little things, like planting trees or making a statement for climate. In a moment the chopper will leave and we are going to spend the night up here at the ice. The ice sheet is melting and it affects the weather all over the world. Also the storms and how the rain falls around the world. So the whole entire climate is connected all over the world. And I feel like going to the ice sheet to make uh, an event about how important it is to keep following up on how this climate change is affecting because when the ice sheet is smelting it affects everything. Listen to the ice. This is the ice talking beneath my feet. There is water and the ice is like water heating up because of the sun and the warm wind from the south. You can see how the ice is melting below me. It will disappear into a hole. Crossing the ice, feeling the ice crystals cracking under my feet while I'm walking on the ice like the ice is melting every day and disappears into the oceans, flowing away across the world. Meeting the point where the snow stops and the rocks get visible, all the stones, no one have ever stepped their foot there before, and now we are here, at the bottom of the ice sheet, looking down the ocean, the rocks, and looking back at the ice sheet we just crossed for two days. With the climate in my mind and the feeling after walking down the ice, feeling the rain start hitting me on my jacket. I start painting watercolor on the canvas. I have to be very quickly because a storm is coming up and soon we will have to rush down to meet a boat to make sure to get back to shore before the storm hits. In Greenland the weather changes all the time, so you cannot just count on it. You have to think of safety first. Greenland is covered with a big ice sheet and due to the global warming this is melting faster than ever. That is why Professor Jason Box and his crew and colleagues are making a lot of science in how the ice is melting. Everything in the painting is actually melting down while I'm painting it and that's because you cannot do watercolor on canvas normally. But I'm a watercolor painter and I know a lot about watercoloring and I also teach watercoloring. So I find a way to do my project on canvas even though it's impossible. Especially under these conditions. 
That is why I'm using the weather as a factor to paint with. It's actually raining on my colors while I'm doing it. And they're making the patterns I need to visualize the environment I'm standing in. There was once upon a time that Bruce Lee said, if you are in trouble, be like water. Water takes its own ways. It can run in all kinds of direction and you can normally not control it. Some scientists do control it, but water is actually having a way to move across land and cut itself through landscapes and even cut glaciers apart. So that is why it has a big effect on the ice sheet when rain hits the ice sheet. It will affect how the ice is melting. All the water is going into the sea, but it's not staying around Greenland. It actually moves with the streams, and that is why it has a big and huge impact on cities um, down the um, equator and below. Um, the water will affect the whole world while it's melting, and that is why science in the ice sheet is very important. So if you want all the right explanations about how it melts, I suggest you follow the ice scientist because they have all the right explanations and I'm just an artist painting on the ice sheet trying to understand how the world is connected. What are you thinking? Well, I think, uh, I think it's... Um the water experiment by doing uh, watercolors in a water-ish area, like in, um, in Greenland and by the polar ice, is absolutely amazing. But also the watercolor reflects the, um, the melting ice, uh, like the ice is um, melting and everything in this painting is actually melting into each other, like the colors are floating and it's raining here, so every time the colors get wet, the color starts to run. You can see it make like lines in the in the paint, and now you can see all the changes in the in the canvas. Uh, so the rain and the weather affects the painting the same way as the weather affects ice in a way. Mm -hmm. So while I'm standing here painting, I'm told to rush up because the clouds are being heavier and we are about to be hit by a lot of rain. The rocks are slippery and we have to get down in a safe way. So very soon I'll be stopped painting and we will go back to the boat taking us back to Narsak. It's a one to two hour trip in an open boat, so it's pretty cold. Later I discovered that the heat wave that hit us on the ice sheet that day, so we had to rush down because of the weather changes, affected that 18 billion tons of ice went into the ocean that day. So I'm glad we came back safe. Maybe you're thinking that the climate is too big a thing for you to change, but the thing you can do is to do little things, as I said earlier. For example, to do planting trees, or taking care of nature while you are discovering it. And promise me one thing, if you ever cut down a tree, do me a favor, plant a new one. Thank you for watching. <laughs>